has a big hole. He's inside the 10 to the 5. The friendly is in, and the Rams extend the lead to 29 to 14. The rivalry with Wyoming is has always been a tremendous one. I mean, you can go back to Fum Song, you can go back years and years, and you'll find uh, references to, to the, that rivalry with Wyoming. The ROTC connections of running back and forth, uh, the exchange of the boot, the traditionally being the last game of the season. And the bronze boot itself is a size eight Corcoran parachute jump boot that was worn in Vietnam. Wyoming, you had to win that game. That was a big game. I think, and I just say, I, and someone just told me this the other day, I think we played them 15 times. We won 11 of those games, and they, and they were all pretty close games. But it's a, yeah, it's a big, you gotta beat Wyoming to at least keep the fans happy for a week. Corey Bramlett back to throw. Fires it down the middle, picked off. Intercepted by the Rams, Luke Atkins. That's a game that you have to win, and that's a game that, uh, is important and, and it's important for the University of Wyoming and there's a lot of players from the state of Colorado on both teams at that time. This game's got a lot of heritage. You know there's been been good games by both teams. It's, uh, it's quite a rivalry and I know it's important to you know their university and their community and it's very important down here obviously. Cecil Sapp with the 15, he's at 10, on his feet, at the 5, at the 4, the 3, Cecil Sapp! Oh that dog is growing again! I've, I've heard players, I've heard former players and alums say this, if there's one game that we remember that we really want to take with us, it's that Wyoming victory.